And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the heart of the United Kingdom, he comes trailing fire at amused television audiences in his wake, the reigning king of heavy metal, the snow ghost with the snow most, the world's loudest host, Bruce Snow Ghost Russell. Thank you, thank you everyone. Are you ready to rock and roll? I'm ready to metal. Bruce, how are you doing? Pretty good. Are you ready to tape another episode of the Community Show? Yeah, I am. First, there was a snow ghost on top of a silver mountain. Now that ghost is your community host. A snow ghost wants to get the most out of you. Cause a battle world begins with you. What's the idea of the community show? Just get people to uh, sit back and take pick, kind of like, avoid kind of like relay some of the people's frustrations and uh, anxieties that people might have. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of like a menace. This is kind of like a menace. I'm kind of like a menace. This is like, this is like medicine and medication for them, for the people. I'm like, kind of like their medicine man. You're the medicine man with the med with the menacing medication. Yes, that's right. I've heard that you, I've heard that your goal for this episode is to turn all of the members of the audience into cannibals. Well, I, I, I was uh, I was only kidding. I was uh, actually <laughs> I just wanted I always like needs money from molding and uh, and money from uh, from menacing. <laughs> Fantastic. What's the what's the subject of today's show? Witches, arts, and the witches, arts, and, and ghosts. I was speaking from a ghost. Do you have any final words before we start the show? That gives us ghosts for it. <laughs> My next guest on the Snow Ghost Show is all the way from Salem, Massachusetts, in the Tate, so we are here to ask her about witches, ghosts, and art, and magic. Have you ever gone to the Salem Witch Trials? Um, no, I haven't gone, you mean to the, to the Witch Museum? Or to the... No, I haven't. I haven't. But, um... But the Salem Witch Trials, though, um, themselves are, um... That is what, uh, Salem is most known for. The actual Witch Trials. I've always wanted to go there myself, never get near them. No? I really got around to them. I mean, I always think about it, but I never get there. <laughs> well, Salem is beautiful, and... I mean, the best time to go, I would think, would be like October. It is actually. You know, like the last day, the last day of the month of our. Well, yeah, community. definitely. They have lots of stuff going on because of Halloween. Right, that's what I mean. But um, yeah, it's definitely known for the uh, witches and actually the population of um, Salem. I think I think it's ten percent is actual witches. Oh really? Like um, real witches modern day witches but I have to say that um, there's a stereotype of witches you know like they're scary or that they're evil but witches are not this is just a stereotype All right. um, the belief of witches is pantheistic that means everything has um, a divine quality like um, plants and um, environments and trees and objects I mean anything can be divine everything is divine that's pantheistic you're right because um, I mean because the first thing people come to mind is that when people think of witches, they think of like a war on their, a war on their chin or a yeah. big funny nose and a black, a black or a cat, a black cape and a black pointy hat. In the broom and all of that. Right, they're just like yeah, that's normal, like normal people. Yes, definitely. Because um, yeah. uh, a few months ago, last year, I went to Minnesota and I met a water. Met uh, Dave's friend in St. Cloud. She was actually a pagan, mm. and she's no different than than people, regular people are. She just has different beliefs. But exactly. Um, actually, there's an incredible respect for other living things within um, uh, within uh, the belief of witches. And uh, yeah, it's very actually it's very interesting and very beautiful when you actually. Um, or study um, uh, the beliefs of witches and witchcraft. Yeah. Yeah, because there's like kind of like two kinds of witches. The, the white witches are more, most of the good witches are supposed to like get rid of the evil spells and stuff. 
and the black witches are more like for the people are more like witches are doing black magic and things like that. Yes, this, exactly. And they're more the, the evil witches. Yeah, there's um, supposed to be like black magic, there's yellow magic and white magic. Yeah. Different types, exactly, of like magic. Um, but the idea is though, if you do do magic, whatever you do, like whatever, um, if you curse someone, it comes back to you. Whatever you do to someone else will happen to you. Right. What See, is the difference between the, what is green magic, yellow magic? Because I've never heard of that. Um, with yellow magic, it's just basically different types of, um, I guess like spells, um, different types of um, ways of, uh, of you know, interacting with the spiritual realm. Like in reality, there's like the spiritual and there's the physical. There's like different types, different layers. I see. So, um, yeah, you have to be very careful, and you shouldn't really play with that stuff. Right. <laughs> We're so. just saying, yellow, yellow magic and green magic is evils like black magic, or is it, or is it just the opposite? Like, um, I, I don't know. I think that um, any type of um, anything actually that you do, whether it's magic or not, can be evil. It depends on how you're using it. Right, and what the interpretation behind it is. Yeah, and what... Anything can sort of be corrupted. It depends on what the person is doing with it. Right. So, um... Yeah, that's probably probably the, the most truthful well, aspect. Well, there's a question for you. Yes? My understanding is that just witches go to, like, go to, like, do, like, seances, or, like, to, uh, to cast spells and to kind of talk to like people from the dead or something and bring them into like their present. Is that does that ever happen? Oh, know. um, seances are actually seances are something that is not necessarily um, part of witchcraft. Um, actually, seances are really uh, with, within witchcraft. Um, there's there are gatherings and you can have like a coven. Um, but of uh, uh, you know members, just like in a church, you have uh, members. But um, in any case, um, within a seance, seance is actually something that people can do to try and contact uh, the other world. Yeah, departed loved ones, or if they have a haunting in a house, right. they're trying to talk to the ghost, and they use the medium. It's usually a medium is leading the seance. And they'll try and usually try to speak through the medium, and this can be like with writing, like um, automatic writing or talking. The medium will start to talk because they'll start to possess almost like a possession of the medium. Oh, I see. So um, that's the way that people communicate to the spirits that are around them, or they feel is around them, where they live or wherever. Yeah, I've gone to like a seance of my life once, is and. Uh, what happened? Coven and stuff like that. I mean, I was like, I was like heavy, like heavy, like which is, I guess, I feel it's still a kind of am, but because, because uh, I mean, to me, if you look at a picture of a witch, yeah. you look, they kind of like more like gothic, almost kind of gothic, kind of like looking. Yeah, that's um. Because I mean, I'm not like in a gothic metal band, so it's like a lot of my. Yeah, it's like talks about a lot about gothic and things and just like when you think of a god you think of like witch you remind you of like something gothic or something yeah that's definitely like the modern day people yeah. who i don't think it's necessary though you don't necessarily have to dress like that right. if you're a witch um yeah it's but yeah that's how some people interpret it and i saw this episode of one one uh the haunting on uh just the other day in fact this guy his his, his mother and his, and his, and his her son bought renting this house somewhere. I forget where it was exactly, but there's like spirits in the house. Actually, their house was like built on an old grave site, Indian burial site or something. No, I actually I got that wrong. Excuse me. Well, anyways, they they're renting this house, and there's like a lot of weird occurrences in the house. And those guys are being possessed by like spirits inside the house. So he goes and goes to the library and finds, and I think he goes to like a library and finds this book on witchcraft and he buys a book and starts doing black magic to release the spirit. All did he know, he was creating more spirits in the house. So he, 
where all these like church bickers and said you believe in God have you asked him for God and he went to like all these like places they all thought he was nuts and they couldn't do nothing for him so he finally to contact the Snow Ghost community show email the snowghost at gmail.com or leave a comment on our blog at wccatv.com slash snowghost to leave a voice message that we can play on the show call 508 471-3897. white magic and he's coming to release the, uh, the spells. And uh, he, he does. Yes. And uh, it turns out it was like a, it was a bad mistake. So he goes to see this woman. And he was like, and he all of a sudden he became possessed over and he started acting acting really weird about things and, mm -hmm. and he just like turned into a demon and he couldn't like say that Jesus Christ is my savior and things like that oh, so she ended up taking the and he just like fell into he just like froze into in a coma and fell on the floor and he was just like starting talking like a demon she had to like take the take a crucifix and, and just drag the spirit out of him so she had to do like an exorcism yeah Wow, yeah, that's that's a good reason why not to to it's a gift for the guest. Can you announce that? We have this we have this guest this gift from our uh, for our guest today. It was donated by Happy Birthday Mike Leslie. And uh and I thank you. Thank you. It is quite lovely. Thank you. Have you been here? No? Let's tell them, tell people at home that we're going to take a quick break. Well, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back with you sh uh, shortly so you can mention some more brains. Right. Yeah, you were telling me about the exorcism. Yeah. That was very interesting. And um, yeah, that's another reason why a person should not play with the spiritual world or with witchcraft or, All right. what they, or magic, I should say. Yes. But, um,. But you're saying though that the house itself was like built on a burial burial ground? Yeah. Yes. Well, actually, they had another they had another another episode after it. Uh huh. This house was built on a, a burial ground. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had like this player piano in the front room. Actually, when they with a couple went to go find his house, I think Connecticut, mm -hmm. try to say. Their marriage, because I guess they're having some marital problem, because he was like they were living with, his, with his, her folks or something. Okay. So they, they, there was like some homeless people living inside his living inside his boarded up house. Yes. And once they went upstairs, he goes, uh, "Don't go upstairs." Yes. And so they go upstairs and find all these like rooms, bedrooms were all like nailed shut with a little plank across the across the uh, across the, the, doors the doors and stuff. Yeah. And then there was like a big, uh, big sh bunch of tall weeds and down in the front of the living room or something. Yes. And the guy come upstairs. I told him to go upstairs. And the guy was buying a house. And how can I, how can I buy a house if I haven't seen it yet? Mm -hmm. The upstairs. So did you, um, have you ever seen photographs of ghosts? Sometimes people take photographs, and afterwards when they develop it. They look and they actually see like another person. Oh yeah. Or uh, yes, it's very, 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 very interesting. I saw this stuff could be kind of scary. Isn't it? it is. Oh, it is scary. It's very, it's very unsettling too. It can be. Yes, it can be quite unsettling. I don't think people like, you know, to an extent. I think people um, find that anything that's unknown you know, can be frightening. Right, and I knew this, uh, this, this woman back in, I did, had to work like a few days from her back in 1986. Mm -hmm. And she's like living in this dorm. Yes. For like, problem, uh, how do I always think, uh, problem, problem, uh, like a boarding school kind of thing for like single women and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the woman is, they were like, her roommate, where used to go up, 
They used to go through these like corridors and down to their bedroom and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the bathroom be on the side, on, the, on the, the right side. Yes. And it was a weird thing because a lot of things like it was like a lot of phenomena. Because when they leave the room, the light would turn. It would turn on by itself. Mm. And it was like, yeah. They go back and they find the light was on. I and you know what's interesting too? To the ghost, where the ghosts? Right. We have a special yes. surprise guest on the Snow Ghost Community Show. <laughs> and Steve Fisher, how's he going? Steve? Nice to see you, Mike. Do you know Bruce Russell? No. Hey, Bruce. I know oh. who you are, though. Of course. I'm Steve Fisher. Nice to meet you. You too. And do you know Natasha? No. Hey, Natasha. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Just take me up to the show today. Okay. Uh huh. How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah. What's the topic for uh, this week's show? Uh, witches, ghosts, and spirits, and magic, yes. and art, uh -huh. and all of the above. Uh -huh. Good topics. Well, I wish you, I wish you luck with it. Oh, thank you. I'll see you later. All right. Take care. Thanks for being here. All right. I'm looking sharp, man. Well, I, I, it's important for TV to wear a suit, in my opinion. Anyway. I mean, after all, he's he's actually doing a show, so that's you gotta look. You gotta you gotta. I bring out the person who's doing the show. All right. <laughs> do you guys want to talk about? You got about ten minutes left in the show. Do you want to talk about more witches? Do you want to talk about art? What do you want to ask about? Uh, oh. I'll go back to finish with my story. Okay. And anyways, they was all of a sudden like, they went downstairs. Yes. Because they had to walk. Because they were able to get up the the, the court up. There was like this stairs. Yes. And every day somebody died here, like tragically or something. Oh. Yeah, that can happen too. And what happened? Like, did did they feel anything there in that spot, or? No, I think they found like a cold, a cold, uh, cold spot. A cold spot. Mm. Yeah, like lots of things can happen. Like, especially when people die violently in yeah. a place. Um, and a lot of them were there. That was like kind of like unexplainable too. They didn't really have any any. There wasn't really any explanation about why this stuff would happen. But yes. Um, actually, they also have, uh, like, it's called, like, a ghost psychologist and people who contact ghosts to help them move on. Right. And to, because it's, it is, like, torment to forever be fixated in right. one spot because of one event. Right. You know? So. I've always, I've always heard this, too, on a travel team, on tour, and I always heard this from other, from other people I talk to, like, churches that when somebody dies, they want to, they, the dead wants to live with the living, and that's... Mm. Yeah. Because they feel that, that the living one that brought them to the death. Rather if it's like lost love or, uh, or or suicide or any number of things that could be a sense for these yeah. Uh, results. Yeah, if the if they're not if things are not resolved by yeah. you know by the time that they die or if they kill themselves right. or you know, they're very angry or they're murdered or All right. Things like that. Track, you know, fire or something. Yeah, that is like real. All of those things are really bad, and you have a high probability that the ghosts will remain or become earthbound. The and my uncle one time was telling me up in Vermont, there's like a old, uh, this old covered bridge called Emily's Bridge on Stowe. Mm -hmm. And uh, during one, I think it was like during one October, and this is like 1900 or something, was around that time where they said like horse and buggy. Mm -hmm. This woman was supposed to like getting. You're getting married, or mm -hmm. they were actually they were engaged, and then they used to meet on both sides of the bridge. And she would be coming out from the hill because her house is up over the hill, mm -hmm. and he would come from the other direction, from this way, and she would come down from the hill, and the two will meet in the meet in the in the the the, 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 the cover bridge. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was it was all open up at that point in time. It was. Probably, if you look over the railing, it's probably a good 50 foot drive from the from the from mm. the bridge to the to the rock to the to the river. Mm -hmm. Some there was like two stories about it. One was that he decided to follow up the uh, the, the engagement, mm -hmm. or the, the the horse got spooked or threw her off the bridge. Mm. And people always say when they go out there a certain time of night, mm -hmm. like the end of October. Mm -hmm. That if you park there like it's to midnight, you can hear like the pounds on the windows, uh, wow. near to your, the top of your car, and things like that. Mm. And one time somebody saw their white hand try to reach for the door and try to unlock oh. it. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Mm -hmm. 
that's another thing is sometimes spirits don't know that the person doesn't know they've died right and so they continue to try and live like they're still alive and, and that other, happens a lot and the other part of it too on a cold on a windy night there's supposed to be like this wind that's supposed to go through the bridge and make this bridge like howl and cry and things yes it's pretty eerie yes but yeah, there's like so much aspects to um to spirits. Yeah. And to ghosts. And um yeah, you know, um yeah, it's um it's particularly sad though when the spirit doesn't have or has found rest for whatever reason. Right. It's difficult. Um but yeah. You know. But there's lots of stories like people um I've read, I've read so much stories about, um, also what happens too is, um, another aspect to spirits and stuff is, um, reincarnation. Yeah, um, I heard that too. Yeah, when people, um, they die, and sometimes in violent deaths they say they're reincarnated quicker. Right. Shoot. And so, um, yeah, how you die means a lot <laughs> for what's right. going to happen afterwards. I find out to know that you too, all the way, all the... All the like spirits and like evil, if they like something like if they die like tormentally or like a very horrible death, and this is where how they become evil and stuff. But people yeah. just die for like broken love or lost love or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like a broken like, heart. Then they tend to be like, more uh, more forgiving and stuff. Mm, yeah, and, and you know what too, the the characteristics you have in your life, you have like it becomes part of your. It, it is you. So when after you die your spirit or soul still has those particular characteristics. So if you're like a mean, aggressive person in life, after you die, you will carry those traits. Yeah. Or if you're a nice, kind person, right. you'll still be. You know, still have. And I, used to, yeah. and I used to like wake up when I was a kid and stuff like that. And yeah. Have all these like unexplained things. It'd be like this, because like I said, I was like heavy into witchcraft at that time. I kind of still am now, but uh, because I'm just like so fascinated with all that sort of thing and that stuff. And, and the thing too is you don't have to, you can respect everything right. and and um, and believe in the divinity of all things. Right. And, and you don't necessarily have to join or become part of, of, of really any group or organization. Right. It can just be in your heart. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like having like mysticism, I kind of still in too, but I remember one night I was like sleeping and it was like, just like black, I saw this like black finger at the, at the end of my bed and I would just like woke up and, and it's like, it was a bit cold and mm, I had this oh. horrible nightmare wow. and I woke up and saw this like black figure at the, at the end of my bed. Yes. And it was just like, I was just, got this big cold shiver down my spine. And I just like froze. See, that's the thing. You have to be like, because there's like, there are, it seems like, negative energies, and then there are positive energies. And, and the thing that really scared me in the part is, is you're going to worship the dead or you're going to worship God or something like that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, you have to be very careful about what you are dealing with. Right. And what you do. Because that's horrible. <laughs> that sort of experience is oh, yeah, right. horrible. It sounds horrible. Very, it was very kind of like dramatic, so. <laughs> yeah. That sounds rough. How much time we got, like, Mike? About three I think we ought to end it right here because we only have like three minutes, but I think we ought to end it right here. Well, go ahead and have a final message or whatever. I want to thank everybody in Worcester. And we thank our guests. I keep forgetting their name. Natasha. Natasha. Natasha, yeah. And we'll see you next time on the Snow Go Show. And we're looking forward to seeing all your wonderful faces next time. And thank you very much. We all love you. First, there was a snow ghost on top of a silver mountain. Night ghost is your community host. A snow ghost wants to get the most out of you Cause a better world begins with you